Tumagdiri tayo ng kapsat. Let's open our Bibles to John chapter 15. Nakamay mayat DJ message di kanta. Kung naanagat, you abide in me. The challenge naman this afternoon is for us to abide in Him. John chapter 15. And uh, the five vital blessings when we abide in Christ. That's the title of our message, The Five Vital Blessings When We Abide in Christ. Na tayo ket anak tiyapo, sons of God. Number two, we are saints. Saan yung liplipatan kakabsat? Di gito ya. Lagi kong uulit-ulitin ito. Number one, we are sons of God. Number two, what are you? Saint. So marami po. ang involved sa pagiging saint natin sa mundong ito. Number three, what else? A servant of Christ. Ayan, servant of God. A deepen. So, detoy, there are things involved. Number, number four, stewards of God. Number five, soldiers of God. Number six, strangers. So, detoy kakabsat, Kaya't isuti, relasyon tayo itiapo and it uh, pictures, it tells our role and uh, responsibility as God's people in this present life. And in John chapter 15, the Lord Jesus Christ told His disciples the message that I'm going to share with you this afternoon. Kunana, I am the true vine. And my father is the husbandman. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he taketh away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he purgeth it, that it may bring forth more fruit. Now ye are clean, through the word which I have spoken unto you. Abide in me, and I in you. As the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. No more can ye except ye abide in me. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me ye can do nothing. If a man abide not in me, he is cast forth as a branch, and is withered. And men gather them, and cast them into the fire, and they are burned. If ye abide in me, And my words abide in you. Ye shall ask what he will, and it shall be done unto you. Let's jump to verse 16. Verse 16. Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you, and ordained you that ye should go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit should remain. that whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, He may give it you. Heavenly Father, tulungan na kami na iti message, ngayon kami maadal itang malem to some na dalanan min da iti apo nga passage. Nakanggag kami na iti message may ipanggap ka da iti nga passage. So agserbi apo iso na nga reminder kan pa na kay refresh. Tap nun ti kasta po, adadangag, baling kami nga nabunga a Kristiyano. To some of my brethren, maybe it's their first time to encounter this passage in the Bible. And they perhaps are wondering, what does this mean? What did the Lord Jesus mean to His disciples when He said, I'm the true vine, ye are the branches. And what does this mean to us today? Dear Lord, help us Nga day ito nga message, saan lang nga nangag miya po, no di ka, ma, masagap mi manen, nga adal ka rin prinsipyo, nga ma relate mi, kadag iti inal daw, day-to-day encounters me, as your sons, as your servant, as your steward, as soldiers of Christ, as saints, and as strangers in this present world. Lord, Tulungan na kami, alisto kami apo, nga makalipat, agbaaw, kanalisto, nga agbaliw, tirik na. Kat sapay kuma, tadig ito yung asaom, duray kanayon, ulit-ulit, tinawan, may emphasize, 
Ang yamanin mi apo Dios, tadadala nga may palagip ket tumnek kada kami. Bless the rest of the hour in Jesus name. Amen. You may be seated. Daito yung kakapsat nga passage ket in share ni apo Jesus kada giti disciples sakbay nga isuna ket tiliwen dagiti Roman soldiers before the soldiers would uh, take him and uh, will be tried and will be crucified Jesus knew that he will leave them kasi matay may tabo na gungar and then will go back to heaven So, as, as the Lord, whom they have followed for three and a half years, they enjoyed physical togetherness. They have learned a lot from Him, from His parables, from His teachings, from actual demonstration, tipa nagserbi. Finally, the Lord will be crucified, will be buried, will rise again. And we'll go back to the Father in heaven. So, ang buong kakabsat no panahawam, digiti disciple mo, you've got to give to them a very important message. And so, just like the disciples of the Lord Jesus Christ, who were with Him for three and a half years, tayo rin ay mga disciples ng Panginoong Heso Kristo. We've not been with Him physically for three and a half years. But thank God, we have our church. We have the Bible, the pastor who taught us the teachings of the Lord Jesus Christ. Kaya ita ka kapsat, da ito iti sarita na kadakwada. He used an analogy to drive a truth, a very important point that they must always remember. Da ito inasar ni Apo Yesus ng analogy Kat may panggep iti vineyard. He spoke their language because they to vineyard iso ti may sang a common nga livelihood da giti tatao during those times. No at the vineyard mo, at the mabalin mo because you produce wine out of it, grape juice, and sell it. So the Lord Jesus Christ, looking around, perhaps they were surrounded, they were in a vineyard. Inusar na di jeng analogy to drive a very important point that even you and I today in the 21st century must always remember. He said, "I am the true vine." Siak iti pudno nga poon. My father is the husbandman. Get the picture? Siak ti poon, ti ama, isu, iti agtaltalon. Every branch in me, who are those branches or trunks that are yung believers and disciples of Christ? So the Lord Jesus said, I am the true vine. Ibig sabihin, the Lord was implying that there are Others who claim to be vine. Ngimhan nga iso ti true vine and Jesus said, I am the true vine. This uh, calls us nga anak ti Apo kakabsad. Nga iti day to'y agdama nga lubong. Saan tayo nga palilaw kan paguyod. Kadag iti bambanag nga maka-attract kada tayo kakabsad. Iti na inlasagan. But the Lord is saying, I am the true vine, abide in me. Ag talinaud kalaeng kinia po Jesus. The whole idea is about abiding in Christ. And the outcome is more fruits. Ado nga bong bunga. Ag baling ka nga na bunga. Now, to abide means to remain in fellowship. Every believer must know. Dapat amin tayo nga believers, amu tayo. Nga naikamang tayo ng kiniapo Diyos through the Lord Jesus Christ. We have been connected to Him through Christ. 
But we must also realize that God wants our communion. Kaya tiapo kakabsat, iti pa nakailangan tayo. We are already in union with Christ. Hello? Union. Amuyot union? Union. Yun na yun. We are in union with God through Christ. Hello? Nai-connect tayo. That is our personal relationship. But God wants our communion. So the Lord is saying, Uray maya dayo akton, mapanag sa dilangit. Abide in me. I want your communion. I want your fellowship. Nagsayatin ka kapsat. Ta in these days, social media, people are connected and disconnected. <laughs> Too connected, but also disconnected on the other hand. And, you know, through social media, kala dati, binuyak dati, baro ngayon introduce ni Sindeta ko di Facebookan? Mark Zuckerberg. Kaya in-introduce na kakabsat ti future ti Facebook, which is Meta. Kada kayo nga senior, hanyo unay ko di Giant. Ngam di gito younger iso da ti future. Meta. This will be the new environment and platform of Facebook. Agasam kakabsat ta with the use of your gadget, your laptop, or perhaps your cell phone, kat uray adayu kakabsat da giti kakadwam ti trabaho virtually as if adadalang jaglawlaw mo kakabsat. Pauning nga pa na kaya si Degen iti uh, connection da giti tattao kada tayo. And while technology It's really a great help and a great tool. But it can become a hindrance to your Christian life. So in the 21st century, during this time, wala pang gadget noon, wala pang laptop. People are not too toxicated with uh, social media. Mahirap ang buhay noon eh, mag-adayot balbalay, narigat iti connection. They were not too toxicated with social media. Yet Jesus said, abide in me. Communion. That's fellowship. How much more today? In the 21st century. Iso nga kada kayo nga agtutubo. Kaya't ko nga ma-realize yung dating nga banag. Technology, Facebook, social media has its place. But do not make it your life. Social media is not your life. Jesus is your life. Social media has its place in your life. But Jesus is your life. Turat yun ito, A.V. Taipos yun ito yung quotation this week. Exact words. Don't change it. Okay? So, communion with the Lord. Amen? Oh. Madi ka kapsat, mahal na maragsakan ti Apo nga, masyado ka nga connected ti social media. Awanan ti time mo kayong kuwana of fellowship, of prayer, and of the Word of God. Now, this is a very important issue because it's the struggle of many Christians. Among ti may isang struggle ti Kristiyano kakabsat is to maintain your communion with the Lord. Tama ba ako, mga kapatid? Hangki agis struggle, no kasano nga i-maintain yung communion yung tiapo? No ha mo ma-maintain, dito yung communion mo kakabsat? Hamu may experience that the five vital blessings. Dati communion at dapat alistu tayong agbaaw. Mas lalo may itatag ka bsaat, madamang agdingding ng kati preaching, mariknam ti presensya ti apo uray sa dinut yan mo ita. Perminga ti panagsad naging ka makabang ar. Ng kalpasan na after all the services, bukas you go back to work. Again you will be exposed and all. They they communion can fellowship ti apo ti may isa nga karigatan nga pagistragelan ti Kristiyano nga i-maintain kagabsan. Ngem masapol nga i-maintain tayo dito nga communion ti apo. 
Dahit nga pa naki-fellowship tayo tiya po. Why? Because of the following reasons. The five vital blessings when you abide in the Lord. Number one, blessing that is very important for us Christians when we abide in Christ is in verse 2 and 3. Every branch in me that beareth not fruit, he purges away. And every branch that beareth fruit, he taketh away. Every branch that beareth fruit, he purges it, that it may bring forth more fruit. Now ye are clean through the word which I have spoken unto you. Sabi niya, every branch in me, nagiti sangak, my trunks, tayo yun. We are abiding in him. What will the Father do? The Bible says, He purges it. Sino yung He? In the, in the analogy, in the picture, they say He kakabsat, ka they say illustration, they literal nga illustration ha, that they say branch ni Jesus, they vine, sino they He? They agtaltalon. Anat aramidin they agtaltalon ka they say Ah, uh, branches. Perjet it. Amo iti perjet. Prune. To cut. Dalusan na kakabsat. So, di ko na ni Pastor Jun, di purga to cleanse. Now, let me show you a picture of what a vineyard looks like when it is pruned and purged. Ayan. Awan bulong na ang kakabsat. Day takot may isa nga nataunganan nga puon. Has been bearing fruit, the branches has been bearing fruit for many years. Kaubasan. Okay? So this is what a vineyard looks like when the farmer, the husbandman, will prepare his vineyard to become fruitful. Kat kasta ti arami din ti ama kada tayo kakabsat. Pruning. To cut off. One author said, if you prune properly, no usto ka no ti panag dalus mo, your vine will be more manageable and have better fruit. Amuyo, iti biyag tayo. At dati kitay, turong tayo nga bukbukod nga ditay kayat nga ti Apo isot mangidalan. And so the Father will intervene. Mabaling kakabsat, hangko ammo di kita nga bambanag, ng sika ammom, no anyada di kiti turturong mo, nga saan nga apagiso, kung saan na makatulong ti Christian life mo ita, kung panagserbim ti Apo. And the Father knows that. So He will prune. He will cut it off. And He will do it to be able to manage you para mamanage na ka. Kasi no, at the basit kinasuang, tibiyag tayo, hanna tayo may manage, tiya po. Poor pruning year after year leads to low yield and poor fruit quality. Hanna na sa mitno kang gagabsat, J. Obas. Nakaraman kayo, digiti Obas nga, ilakla ko, nakamsamit, digiti Obas nga, magatgatang nawa. Nabiling nga napintas ti panakatari pa ito di gijay kaubasan. The author also said, prune boldly without fear of hurting a thing. Saling singam. Don't spare. Do it boldly. Nga hamo pampanunutan nga kasla masaktan di jay kayo. Uno, DJ Sanga. Amum, ti inaramat ni Apo Yesus, DJ Kakabsat, nga truth, ti bagbaga ni Kristo, nga truth, is the word of God. Kuna na, now you are clean through the word. So, dapat ma-realize yung members, it is HBBC, that it is the duty of the pastor, not only to preach, to encourage you, but to preach the word of God, to prune you. Halang ay kasabati sa uti Apo, Tap no may encourage kat ma-comfort tayo. No di kat may kasabati sa uti. Yapo, tap no maputol. Nagiti sarsara tayo kakabsat, kakristyano. 
Kat tiya po, agbalin tayo nga naemma, nga tiya po, mabalin na nga iturong de giti puso tayo. Aminun tayo kung saan, at daan tayo ti kinatangkan ti ulo no daduman. Kat no saan, nga tiya po, putulan na, wano, anan, salingsingan na, di gito, yung abanag ti biyag tayo. Hanna tayo maaramat in a greater way. Hanna tayo mapagbunga gagabsan. Kuna na, without hurting, without fear of hurting a thing. No need to worry over which vine should go and which should be saved. Parang pastor, no? Habang panunutan no sino iti agtalinaad kung sino ti pumanaw. Basta ibagam ti kinapod no ti sa utiapo. Because what you are doing is you are Just doing what God wants it done in the church. Kaslamat ti arig na nusik ka nga Kristiano, you will purge your life. Gaputa ti sa uti apu kat aday bagbaga naging ka. Makita mga digiti, hananapintas nga barka, dagat impluensyaan, dagat dakas. Uri na sakit, putulam. Putulam. You need that boldness, that courage to do it. Because it will not be helpful to you. Kung may ka makikimo, agserbi ka ti Apo, all throughout the week, at dadigita ka kabsat nga, han na makatulong king ka, no di ka't harm pa iti spiritual life mo. When no guyudin na ka, tinainlubungan, ha mo mong karod maguyud, si kamot ti maguyuyud. Diyo po tulang. Cut all the way back to the main trunk, kung nana. So nga, isublim bang pa, DJ Kwaki. So nga, kitam, dyan lang nga na kakabsat na eh. Oh, the instruction na 2 to 4 feet long. Huh? That's about 1 meter. Yung, mga, yung picture. Pakita mo yung picture. Ganyan. Kita mo ka, sa at naglaag talanganan, di ba? Igarup mo no, ana. Ana, deta. Kas la deta, kayo tiliplipas tilayos. Nga makita mo, di da igid, yan ta baybay, tanat ba? Nga na yan, anod, kakabsat, kalakad, jay tila nga na, awang biyo na kakabsat. So, kasta kakabsat, ti aramidin, iti apu kada tayo. Kat usarin na, iti sa una, nga mang prune. And so what? Pruning is painful. I thought, pastor, blessings ito. Five vital blessings. Bakit biglang masakit? Yes. You know Why? It's not because of the process. It's because of the outcome. It's not just the process. It's the outcome that you must bear in mind. Iti Friday, dininggag mi jay testimonyo ti may isang member di MBBE who has been through a lot. Nung ti pagsaya atan na nagmayat jay puso na kakabsat. You know? Eh, kat talaga nga, digiti sitwasyon ti biyag na iso iti ng, ng, pu, ng putol, digito yung madi, nga ugali kayong kuha na. And now, her testimony is a great blessing. Believers are at their best when pruned. Okay, alam nyo, dahil ang kapasat. Believers are at their best when pruned. Churches are at their best when pruned. Okay? Digiti churches tayo, like for example, digiti ministries tayo. Kat adda iti mapasamak nga pruning aramidin tiya po. Just like what happened in Hawaii many years ago. Nakita ni Pastor Jun nga nagadu ti attendance ka DJ anniversary. Ng idikitaan na ti actual nga spiritual temperature de ito nga church. Nabaaw. Nang kitaan na kakabsat. Because cheerful giving, because cheerful giving is one of the vital temperature signs, ter thermometer of Christian growth. Kung na nagatut attendance ng awam mati cheerful giving, so he started to preach on giving. Then people started to bring out their true color. Anda kayat ng mga ganon ng kapsat iti message ni cheerful giving. They started to gather groups and talk about ito tinakam ang mga kakabsat ni Church. Hanna uso itan kakabsat iti busy bodies nga mga balay-balay. Group chat ang kakabsat ni Pagchichismisan. Group chat. 
So ulit, kadakay nga yung people, di kita nga group chat, group chat, especially no members kay the church, those group chat must be, awang kuma di kita kakabsat. If you have any concern, bring it to your pastor, not to your fellow. No, the problem ay yung kakabsat, saan nga dita pa dayot pang ibagbagaan nyo, di pastor ti pang idanunan nyo. If you cannot bring it to the pastor, then just take it to the Lord in prayer. Namang ka mangiraman ti sa bali. Amen? So, yun ang nangyari. And now, they were able to forge a strong group. You know? Pero siyempre, natibtib ker ni Pastor John. He wanted to make sure that he is right and if you leave, you're wrong. So ako na na, the message na ide, why people leave the church. They were not born right, they don't believe right, and they don't behave right. So, mawalis sila. Eh talagang ang nangyari, pakita mo ulit yung picture. Parang ganyan ang HBBC Waipaho during that year. The picture, ganyan no? From about 70 to 80 in attendance every Sunday. Pa! Bigla kakabsat nga nag-down. Uray digiti, few that remain kakabsat kat pati sudag kakapoy da pa yan. But praise God, even though they had little remaining strength, they managed to stay with God's chosen servant. And they said, let's continue to do the work. O, di ko, nagsakit ni Pastor Jun na gawid. Ayun, another bagyo. Ganyan na naman, mga kapatid. Kasla dim makita nga umungar. Nukit kita mo, deta, kakabsat ka't awa. Nanatayan ko na, no dim amo nga binyar, deta. Right? If you pass by a farm, kat makakita ka, and you are not aware that this is a vineyard, anat i-conclude mo? Awanan ni, natay di gito yun, nalaylayan ni. At brown na ni. Awa na, naglaylay ang kabsat, matayan. So, kasta kasta ti Hawaii ide. Ti ammo tayo ide kakabsat kat matayan na ministry. Numhaan. It was just a part of the journey. A process of pruning. Kat itata, nag-celebrate the 13th year anniversary. Glorious. Graceful. And victorious. At no kita ang kakabsat itata, kasla dete, makita yun to damdaman, no kasanot ka, karusbuk, tibunga na kakabsat. At permi, nga madaydayaw itiyapo, because it's BBC Hawaii, members tayo malamin, nagkita gapo amin, halos dito yung church tayo. Permi kakabsat nga, agmanifest itan, tinakad adunga bunga, in the area of cheerful giving. Madaydayaw itiyapo. You see? So believers, churches at, are, are at their best when pruned. Oh. We must be pruned, pruned from anything that prevents or affects productivity. Masapul kakabsat nga, ikatan tayo, dagiti, hindrances. Kala ko mamamot no business. No, at dagiti liabilities, ikatan mo na, tahan na makatulong nga pang pa, mang pa duras ti business mo. If there is any way that you can fix the problem, fix it. But if you cannot, then get rid of it. Because han nagbali na na asset eh. Hello? Liability, it's a business. And so, han lang ang makapadagsan. Dagdag pa sa gasto. Sayang. So, it's a burden. Tatanggalin mo talaga. Same way, pruning. This is a vital blessing from God. Number two. Second vital blessing when we abide in Christ. Number two is power. Tititi nga nagpatinga di Sunday. Verse 4 and 5, Jesus said, Abide in me and I in you as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself, except it abide in the vine. No more can ye, except ye abide in me. I am the vine, ye are the branches. He that abideth in me and I in him, the same bringeth forth much fruit. For without me, ye can do nothing. Mamaya, idugdugtong ko itong power na ito. What this means? Kadeje number five. Number three, vital blessing. Gumawgawawa tayo kadeto yung kakabsat. Verse seven. 
If ye abide in me and my words abide in you, ye shall ask what ye will and it shall be done unto you. Prayers answered. That is number three, vital blessing. Prayers answered. I will explain this, Kuya Absat. Medyo dinggan nyo lang, ta, naunag lang, padasat nga, pasimplifyan deto eh, kaunag na deto eh. Kasto yung amin. Di Christian life, pati prayer tayo, aggi-grow. No aggi-grow ka, Kristiyano, pati di prayer life mo, aggi-grow. Umun-uneg. Kas na giving. No aggi-grow ka, Kristiyano, sumursurot di giving mo, aggi-grow. No ha nag-grow di giving mo, ang ka grow Kristiyano. Kasi indicator ta giving eh. Hello? Kung turay man pinakabaybay ka Kristiyano, no di ka pa yung cheerful giver kakabsat, awan pa'y talaga na sursurom. Nadagsin na word di dyan yung magpaiso. Yeah? Kasi ti indicator ti grow cheerful giving. Same thing with prayer. So what? Ganito. Iti damo tayo a Kristiyano, ti prayer tayo kakabsat kat ana. Dige tayo simple. Basic. Lord, bendisyonan na. Then ti business ko, ti trabaho, ikan activist na magbasa. Then habang agad adal ka ti sa uti apo, narealize mo ti purpose ti biyag mo. Nakita mga de ti trabaho ti apo, ti church is the big picture. Kat si ka, nagbalin nga member. Kat agmature ka. Kat nagbalin ka nga partner ti ministry. Gapu iti day jay kakabsat, jay kararag mo kat imuneg. Dati ti prayer mo ko nam apo ikan naktilugan tamasapol ko agubra. Itata imuneg. Apo ikan naktilugan tapno ada pagiluganak dagit ay maawis kot kapilya. So anat nagdumaan na nag-improve jay prayer mo. Anat ada jay prayer mo saan lang jay sarilin personal benefit ti ikar kararag mo pati pa yan jay ministry. Ipagpakita ni Apo Yesus, kada ito'y whatsoever ye shall ask, nga kuna na kakabsat, the same, uh, uh, whatever ye shall ask, what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. In relation to verse 16, gina nyo ni verse 16, ye have not chosen me, I have chosen you, and ordained you that ye should go and bring forth fruit. Makita tayo kakabsat, another day, dito yung fruits, makita yung tunod damdamat. So, dito yung fruit kakabsat kat bunga ti pa nagserbimi ti Apo. And it says that whatsoever ye shall ask. Sabali, dito ay ibagam ka, dito ay ubing nga awan ti maturity na pa Nga ibagam kinkwa na, ala gatangam takayat mo. Kan dito ay manakam, gatangam takayat mo. Ag duma ti pidutun da. Do you understand the point? Tukot mo ko mati ubing nga 10 years old, 8 years old, dita yan ta Robinson. Kat ko nam king kuana barok, ada jismila budget, gatangam ta kayat mo, papanan na kakabsat. Toyras. Mapan di kiti paggatangan ti makan. Right? Ngam, dete kwa, dete tao nga, agbiribiro kan, dete ada livelihood na, sapsapo lang ti pan nagpagbiag. Ko nam king kuana, at the 50 mil ko, yung kagatangan takayat mo, papanan na kakabsat, handyman. Why? Gumatangag ti ragadi, martilyo, gumatangag ti electric saw, gumatangag ti kastoy, kasapula. You see the difference? When you mature, even your prayer desires will also mature. So, dati ko na nga, what, ask whatever you want. Ha nga, dati, damdamaga, nakadidi immature nga kristyano. Di pang ibagbagaan na, te agbungbungan a kristyano. No agbungbunga ka na kristyano, agserserbi ka ti Apo, mararamat ta biyag mo ti ministry, sika ti kasarsarita ti Apo, dawatam ta kayat mo. And definitely, you will ask in proportion to your spiritual maturity. Very clear? Oh. So, tunog ko ang kakabsat, agawid kayo, kinam ti ubing, kinak man ta ginatang mo anak ko, Agad kakabsat, pero may, ah, di na, di na maarakop ti kaaduna ng lollipop. Candies, chocolate, ay ayam. Right? Kasi iso ti, iso nga rood kakabsat ti level di maturity na. And we don't despise that. Ubing eh. Pero ang sinasabi ng Panginoon dito, yung mga nagbubunga na, kagaya noong pinakita kong picture sa inyo. Haang nga kabaro kakabsat nga katunggol 
nakaitugkik kagabsat nga mula deto. Is he referring? Vine na yun. Matagal na. Vine. Tayo yung branches. If you're already bearing fruit, Jesus said, ye shall ask what you will. And definitely, a matured Christian will ask not only for himself, but for, for the sake of the ministry. Amen. And what will be the blessing? Your prayers will surely be answered. Nakapimpindas ko na ti Apo, ye shall ask what ye will, and it shall be done unto you. Amen! Answered prayer. Number four. May kapat kakabsat na vital blessing. Pleasure. Pleasure. Tingnan na sa unti pleasure for the sake of alliteration isong a letter P, amin. Talaklaga nga mga tandaanan ng mga kakabsat. Kano at the Bible yo, I advise you Isurat yun lang, digiti words yung kakabsat, yung taabay di versikulo. Tap nung tunulok, iban yun man di Biblia yun, makita yun, nalaklakan to nga lagi pong di message. Kasi ang mukailangan nga buklatan di notebook mo uli. Okay? Verse 10 and 11. John 15, verse 10 and 11. If ye keep my commandments, ye shall abide in my love, even as I have kept my Father's commandments and abide in His love. These things have I spoken unto you that my joy, imbagak tigiti nga banag, tapno ti saok, at talinag kada kayo, and that your joy might be full. Verse number 14, Ye are my friends. Kita nyo kakabsat ti, the word nga intimate. Amo yung ti intimate? Ha? Kinaasidig. Diba? At dati tao nga intimate ti riknam kanyana, di ba? Kampante ka, may ibagam, di kiti siksikretom, intimate. You are my friends. If you do whatsoever I command you. So, no kayo, ar-aramidom, di kiti ibagbaga, itiyapo kakabsat, na di kasi digtirik na naging ka. Kat makitan to ti favor, ti apo, ti biyag mo. Favor, ha nga favorite? Favor. Because of intimate. So nga, DJ ko na ni Pastor Abante, gusto DJ eh, God has no favorites. He has intimates. Sino di kiti intimate? Definitely, tinasidug, ije puso ti apo, kakabsat, di kiti mang tungtung pal, iti instructions na. Amen? Kasla ko madeta, cheerful giving, tibigat kakabsat. No, da dua nga anak mo, di may sa natulnog, Di may sana swang, agpada ngay ayatem. Ngam sinot adada nga maka-experience yung favor mo. Di na tulnog, di na swang, no dumawat kakabsat. Kurang na lang ah, kasla itong pam, di kwarta. Ako na, talag dawat ti Ubram. Nakatangtang kong taulong. Ngam di di na tulnog kakabsat, may experience na di favor mo. But both of them, you love them. Hello? So, kada tayo nga nagtiyapo, when we obey His word, when we uh, abide in His word, no, digiti sa una, agtali na, si pa panunot tayo, mindful tayo ka, digiti sa utiyapo. Deta ti dapat nga, ag sink in king ka kakabsat, nga mindful ka ti sa utiyapo. Uri sa dinut yan mo, nga kristyano, sino man ti kasarsaritam, Mindful ka kadagiti sursuro ti sa utiyapo. Amom, kuna na ti Biblia, ye are my friends. Isumot lang kakabsat. Nga of all the people in the Bible, nilang Abraham tinaawagan, the friend of God. Yeah? I believe kakabsat, I think, kadagiti amin nga tatao ti Biblia, ni Abraham ti most intimate kiniyapo Diyos. Why is it that Abraham is the most intimate? Why? Because Abraham was willing to obey God no matter what. Hindi ko na ni Apo Diyos King Kwana, idatong mo ta anak mo, alaw na po. Iso nga nung si kakakabsat, amom, deti cheerful giving, pang suutan, pang tesan mo ti Apo, nung kasanumot iti riknam King Kwana eh. 
Kat no makita na kakabsat, ngahan nga narigat para gan ka. Digi di require na, wano ibaga na gan ka. The Bible says, ye are my friends, if ye do whatsoever I command you. No digiti sa o magtalinaad, sa o agtalinaad king ka, the Lord said, ah, ye are my friends. That is pleasure. Tarak sa kakabsat, iti adda iti kakaduana, di ba, gagayim ngam digiti kakabsat, kat they are temporal relationships. In fact, ti, di gito yung uh, human relationship tayo, ijay tayo nga dapat kakabsat, i-manifest, ti kinasyasin ni Apo Diyos, ti biyag tayo. Bless your. Last, vital blessing. So nga, by the way, before we go to that, ti Kristiyano kakabsat, nga da communion na ti Apo, di giti agtultul nung ti sa uti Apo, Dalata, na may ibus ti regta kada kwada ka sa adda. Number five, vital blessing is productivity. Productivity. Now, in this world, kung numbers is the name of the game. We always hear, alam mo, sabi nila, ang gusto lang ng Panginoon sa iyo, maging faithful. I was reading my Bible, nirecheck ko yung statement na yon. Nang nais ng Panginoon sa iyo, maging faithful. At alam ko, ang nakita ko mga kapatid, ang ibig sabihin ng Diyos ng faithful, ang kahulugan sa Panginoon ng faithful is fruitful. To God, faithfulness is fruitfulness. In the parable of the talents, di ba, at the iti, may isang master, di ba? Inayaban na jay talo nga adipon na. Jay may isa inik ka na tila mga talento. Deti talento kakabsat, hanga talent nga gitara, talent nga ganta. Deti talento, talent is money, kwarta. Di niya may isa inik na ti five talents. So, that's a certain amount of money. Di may isa inik na ti dua. Kat day tayo may isa, inik ka na't may isa. Pimanaw, day tayo nga master. Right? Kuna day tayo adaan ti lima, inakmangkit di inegosyo day tayo. Tabarang aggenak ti another five. So, gapo di pa nang invest na. Kita niyo kapasat ha? na game. It is yung mangpot dito yung master. Kat inayaban na, di kito yung adipon na. Yung muna nga nagpresenta, di kito yung lima, tinaikan, kinkwa na, naitid kinkwa na talent. Kunana, apo kunana, di kito yung tud mga talent kadiyak, napan ko in business. Kat at to yung, napasublik di kito lima, ngem at datubo na nga another five. Anat ko na na DJ Master. Well done, thou good and... See? Ang ibig sabihin sa Panginoon ng faithfulness is result. Meaning to say, if there is no result of your being a Christian in your life, you are not living faithfully to God. Okay. The same thing ka DJ Dua, amen? Tata, DJ Mesa. Kuna na ka, Master, kuna na. Amok kasi ka, uh, awan ti sarilim ngamin nga kastoy-kastoy. Kat pinanunod ko. Nga deti kaka iso na nga intod mo kanyak. Kat baka mapukaw pa eh. Iso nga napang ko inkali. Di ba? Kat tataadad to eh. Amo yung kapsat, nagpungtot. Nagpungtot na yung master. Arat pagpungtot ang nakakabsat ka, di mat na po ka, jintod na. Do you get the point? Arat pagpungtot ang jay master, api ko mga pungtot, di mat na po ka. Ngam ti ipakpakita ti apo nga point, kakabsat, ti faithfulness, kat fruitfulness. No inikan na ka ti apo ti resources, inikan na ka iti pamendisyon kan parabor. Definitely, sarakan ti Apo Gingka, ti bunga day tangayintud na Gingka, iti ministry. 
sa pulong ti Apo, day ta nga intud naging ka, iti bunga, iti trabaho na. In His vineyard, the church, the ministry is the vineyard of God. And listen, to whom much is given, much will be required. Isong ano ko na tayo, nagragsak ti umawat ti adunga blessing, nakabutbutan ti umawat ti adunga blessing. Kasi no ad, adu, tintud, tiapogin ka, dakdakkel ti song batam kengkwana. And what God wants is that you do not only lose those things, but you gain because, through those things. Let me give you another example. Para maidrive ko de, ti truth kada kayo kakabsad. Nga ti equivalent ti faithfulness iti apo kut sala nga ti nagtalinaud no di ket nagbunga. Ti nga min common idea ta ti faithful ket nagtalinaud eh. Iti church eh. Hanla di jay ti faithful kini apo agbungbunga ka ti ingka pa nagtalinaud. Hanla nga nagtalinaud agbungbunga ka. So it's about time. The year is coming to an end. Nagbunga tayo ka di ti ministry. Nagbunga tayo ka di kasi deta ka Definitely, as your pastor, ibagak deto. Kasi isumot lahat, damagang ti Apo King ka. Agkararag ka, basak at Biblia. Dahil tantot may encounter mo nga, damagang ti Apo King ka. Anak ko, kita, nanipod January, inlasat ka ti COVID. Binendisyonan ka, tinulungan ka. Diyak nagkurang ti panangisabot ti ka sa pulam. Anak bunga na tabiag mo ti ministry. See? They jay kakabsat ti drive na leti birds kada tayo itata. This passage. Now, magmagna ni Jesus Christ and His disciples, nakita da na labsan dati may isa nga kayo ti fig. Nakakita ako, nakakita kayo ti fig drin? Nakakita ako ng kakabsat. When? The Middle East. Oh, tata. Dati fig tree, dakila kayo. Agsarak ni Apo Yesus ti bunga. Tatakakabsat, agriri ni Apo Yesus. Kung natin siguro, agriri pa lang ti Apo, at Lord, paglinungan na. Parang kung namang, agriri ka pa lang Apo, at kanayo na, Lord, makigimungan. Hanla ta kanayo na pa nakigimong. Ti kanayo na pa nakigimong mo, anak, bunga na. Dahil ta kanayo na pa nakigimong mo. Bunga yan tabiag mo. Hmm, do nakita na. Awan nakita na nga bunga kakabsat. Anak inaramid ni Apo Yesus, inlunod na jay kayo. Da kayo man timang judge no usto jay naramid ni Apo no saan. Definitely, usto, di ba? Pero, humanly speaking, <laughs> sakit naman yun, Lord. but ganon? Bakit ganon, Lord? Anong kasalanan nung kahoy? May silong na nga. Pwede mong puka, pukanan no kayat mo. Maramid buto gaw jay sementeryo. <laughs> Bakit? Because the Lord Jesus Christ was saying, that's an illustration. Dito nga kayo, agsagsagrap ti sunlight, naggapo ti Apo. The minerals and uh, vitamins from the ground, naggapo amin ti Apo. Now, there must be fruit. But there was no fruit. So Christ cursed the fig tree. Kahit nang asawang kadate nga kristyano kakabsat, as sons of God, as stewards, sa pulin ti Apo, Iti bunga tayo, iti trabaho na. Ano di kiti nga bunga ka upsat? Branches should produce fruit. What are they? Converts. Sino tinaya si dig mo iti apo itangatawen? Dahil di dapat mindful kan. Amin nga nakakonek nga tao keng ka. Dapat maging bunga ka kapsat. One way or the other, they should be fruit that remains. Hindi lang maraming bunga, fruit that remains. Hello? The year is coming to an end. Evaluate tayo ti biyag tayo. Sinot tayo si digtay ti apo itangatawan? Convert. But praise God. Let church tayo. As a whole, kakabsat. Pandemic, nung naging fruitful. Today, we have 112 this afternoon on the Facebook Marami po dyan ay bunga ng live stream ministry. And to God be the glory, many of you are, has a part on it. Ada aming parte tayo, amen? Nagkararag ka, isesare mo, dito live stream tayo, isesare mo, dito daily devotion. You have a part. 
Kadeti, pangkalahatan na bunga ng gawain ng Panginoon. But taking into consideration your life, the people connected to you, you are accountable to God. They should become your fruits. Malagip ko amoy, dinag-preach na minsan ni Pastor BMA dito, eh. kung na nga kasta. Okay? Tumakder kay man, kung na na. Tumakder kay man, kat itudu, ituduyo dito yung kapilya no sino ti, bunga yung tuy, kung na na. Nga da kay ti, nakaakay kay kwa na, na save, na, na sharean yung ti gospel, na baptize kat ada dito ita. Ituduyo man, kung na na, kakabsad. Kat awang makatakder man man lang, adada mo't sumagmamano idi. Kakuna na, ikaw, sino ang bunga mo rito? Kuna na, into do na. Ito, pastor. Ikaw, ito, pastor. Kakabsat, kastanto mo ti apo kada tayo. Sino't bunga? Convert. Ah, di di may isang nanganaming restaurant kat member ti may isang religious group kakabsat. Kat kuna na nga kasta, ang commitment ng aming pamilya ay makapag-akay ng pitong kaluluwa sa aming simbahan. Unay kaya itang restauranan at dadjeng ang paskil na. Karuba yun dyan, Paul. O. Oh. Eh, kat da tayo nga believers kakabsat nga dati kinapuno, mangisirte kinapuno, dapat adamot kasta commitment tayo. Kunana, kat, sa taong ito, kunana, ang aming pangako ay makapag-akay ng pitong tao sa aming simbahan. Oh. <laughs> Kada tayo kakabsat, yan naman tibunga tayo. Awan, kung na ni Pastor John, puro bungang araw. <laughs> bungang araw kakabsat. Amen! Anyan nga nagragsak, nga ha, you know, at data digiti naging bunga tayo nga converts, na sharean tayo. Make a dwais the fruit of the Spirit. The fruit of the Spirit which is love. Galatians chapter 5. Joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, meekness, faith, temperance. Na di gito'y kakabsat. Fruit, iti Holy Spirit, ti biyag tayo from day to day. Ano pa, di gito'y fruits tayo? Good works. And you know, branches can only produce fruits when connected with the vine. So, bottom line kakabsat, as we close, tap no, kas lang masamaray si Jay, panunod tayo. The whole matter, let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter, is this. Kas anak ti Apo, kas ad adipan, kas is stewards. Hantay ko ko tibiyag tayo, binunod tayo ti Apo. Nagini resources ng in ti Apo are is stewards from God. Into no alaan na tayo, sung batan tayo, we will be accountable to God for all of these blessings that He had entrusted to us. Katiapo kakabsat, kaya't nangagbalin tayo nga nabungan. Productive. And we can only become productive if we abide in Him. When we abide in Him, ano di giti blessings tayo? Purging. So if you are experiencing that right now in your life, kunam tiapo, Lord, thank you. Because you are doing this out of love. You want me to bear more fruit. He will give us the power to produce these fruits and results. Prayers answer. Nakita yung kakabsat, pati kararag mo ag-improve. Sa bali ti kararag, dete, barbaro a kristyano, kante kararagan iti nag-mature dun nga kristyano, kamar aramat iti apo. There will be pleasure. Kat day ti kakabsat, talaga nga deep abiding joy. Nga na maitid, ti anyaman nga na inlubungan, na inmateriala na bambanag. And lastly, productivity. As your pastor, the Pastor June, the prayers me kakabsat, kada kayo amin nga namati, kat makita nga da kayo katagbalin nga nabunga, saan lang narangay, no di kat nabunga iti trabaho iti apo. That you are able to bring converts to the Lord, that your life manifests the fruit of the Spirit, And that your lives are abounding with good works at the bunga de giti sa utiapo ng mayat adal kada tayo. So let us abide in the Lord Jesus Christ. Communion with the Lord. Amen! Tiday ito yung alawas kakabsat ante ipalubos nga de giti iti pa nagkikamyun tayo tiapo at bumaaw kung lumamiis. Our fellowship with God.
Amen. Let's pray. O na indaklan nga Dios agyaman kam unay unay kan kaapo. Nagmayat deti analogy nga inaramat ni Apo Jesus kadagiti disciples na kasarsarita na disciples who had been with him for three and a half years. Ket da kami Apo ita disciples mo mat Apo. Ket kayat mo nagbaling kami nga productive. Nalawag kada kami Apo na kas DJ parable of the talents. Deti, ay deti concept mo ti faithfulness, kat fruitfulness. You will always relate faithfulness with results. So deti pa nagtalina admiking ka, at dapat bunga na. Deti pa nang ipapuso mi digiti sa om, ag bunga kuma. Kata na ti bunga na, at dadigiti maya si digmiking ka. Ti biyag mi, kat under the control of the Holy Spirit, ag manifest iti fruit of the Spirit. Katibiyag mi, aglaplaposanan, dagiti na imbag, nga mabalin mi nga aramiden para apo Diyos. Iti pan na kaipalawa, iti trabahom ka iti pagaryam. Iso nga apo, nakita mi ita nga ti sikreto, kat deti pa nag-abide mi kingka. Sangkam nga dapat nga umadayo, bumaaw, tada kami kat maidip, mapundi. It's a bad choice. Wrong move apo na umadayo kami kingka. No adaywan mi apo Dios ti fellowship kan communion mi apo king ka. Isong apo Dios bendisyon nam digiti nga kakapsat nga pabarwen mi ti commitment mi nagtalinaed iti church ag dingeg ka digiti so ag grow ket i apply mi digitoy iti biag mi. Thank you Lord. We cannot produce these results on our own, but you will give us the strength, the ability and power to produce these results. So dear God, we come to you And pray, Father, make us productive Christians. Thank you, Lord. In Christ's name we pray. And everyone says, Amen, amen and amen.